hello guys welcome back to another video so today we're doing the nighttime routine of a one-year-old so we're gonna show you what TJ nighttime routine is like uh, don't do that don't do that so now it's dinner time I'm about to serve him dinner well we're all gonna eat dinner so this is basically when everything when everything starts so dinner and then right after dinner we get straight into our nighttime routine so I figured hey. I would start it here so if this video is the type of video that you're interested in or a video that could help you then grab yourself a cup of tea honey or a glass of wine and tune in So guys, for dinner today, we're having pasta. That's TJ's favorite. But the difference is I made it with Alfredo sauce. That's my daughter's favorite, Shamoya's favorite. But I've never given him Alfredo sauce before, so I don't know how he's gonna respond to it. So it's pasta, it's spaghetti to be exact. And uh, let me show you. And I added some, so for his veggies, I gave him some cu cucumber and uh, some um, tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes. So that's what his dinner look like. Don't know if he's gonna eat it, but we're gonna see right now, cause. I Okay guys, so dinner is done. Um, so six o'clock every day is dinner. That's literally TJ's dinner time. Six o'clock every day. Um, sometimes we all have dinner together, sometimes we don't. Sometimes it's just TJ, but I try my very best for all of us to have dinner at the same time. That help him to eat more. I give that as a tip um, one of these days on my Instagram. As a matter of fact, if you're not following my Instagram, please go ahead and head over there right now. I'm gonna put the handle on the screen. Go over on Instagram and follow me because I drop little gems over there and you don't want to miss that also i do outfit inspirations for baby over there so make sure you head over there you don't want to miss that so now that dinner is done um i'm gonna do clean up and then seven o'clock is when our bath time process begins so now i'm just gonna do a little clean up of all the mess that tj made and wash up at the dishes stuff like that and then we can move on to bath time routine
okay so being that um i'm done cleaning up yeah. what, what i do next is preparation for bath so i'll like take out his clothes that he's gonna put on take out a diaper leave on the bed take up his towel bring in the bathroom put everything that i'm going to use in the bath right by the bath so you know you don't make that mistake of having to wanting to leave him in the bath while he's there to grab something look at this oh Mm. <laughs> he's killing me and he's having fun but anyway so as i was saying so yeah i'll just make all of those preparations and uh, this might be weird to a lot of people but i do not do night reading god bless my eyes but i don't know i don't i don't practice doing night reading for him like bedtime stories now um but we do reading during the day oh thank you we do reading during the days so i what i do is keep books um here on the coffee table and whenever he's ready you literally just grab a book and bring it to me so with that being said i plan on making a bookshelf out here in the living room because there's no need for a book in the bedroom as i said we don't read in the bedroom we don't the, literally the bedroom is only for sleeping so this is where we do our little relaxing time and whatever so i plan on making a bookshelf in the living room right in the corner there where he can just go and grab whatever book he need because now he has a ton of book and he's not really seeing them all because I can't just like leave them all on the on the coffee table. No, it's just a few on there that he can choose from. But with the bookshelf, he'll have more choices. He'll be seeing all of them, and I think that is will be helpful. He, he can literally grab the one he wants. So that's the plan. So no, no reading. You ain't gonna see no reading in this um, episode of nighttime routine for a toddler <laughs> so all right let's get to preparing a part of our nighttime preparation is night light right so we don't sleep in the dark i do not have i do not have any more a night light i used to have a night light that i used it was shamoya's and she took it back once she have her own room <laughs> so but I, I don't feel like i need to invest in a night light so what i do is i have this small tv right here this is our night light so this tv is basically always on on mute it's always on mute but it's always on during the night so that is our night light and for sound <laughs> i'm so creative i know thank you so for sound i have this little fan this table fan that i put in the corner right here it's not even it's not even to cool him down, it's not to cool me down, not to cool down the room, it's just for sound. So it makes this little fan sound, listen. So it makes that sound and it's, it's just, it helps him to fall asleep, stay asleep and it's just like, if I come in, come in the room and I open the door, it like drown out the little extra noise like this opening the door sound or um, if I pick up something or put on put down something so it just basically drawn out those sound that probably his brain would pick up on and probably wake up because it's right there um, as for the winter coming up having a fan running in the middle of winter I don't know about that but I haven't thought about it yet what I'm gonna do to replace that but that cannot happen in the winter obviously so but those are the two things night light sound um i have a i have a phone so what i can do is um go on youtube and type in like night um white sound white noise and you can do that too that's an option i used to do that with my other phone i don't know where it is it's somewhere here so if i find the phone or i can use my, the computer as or the tablet as i say but that's an, also an option so probably that's what's gonna happen during the winter instead of the fan anyways let's get to the bathroom now enough talking no <laughs> you're still in your clothes <laughs>
So guys, um, TJ's bath toys are ABCs, so from A to Z and from zero to nine. And he have some animals, so he have like a cow, he have a sheep, he has a fish, he has an octopus, he has a dog, he definitely knows a dog. <laughs> He has these little balls with stuff inside of them that goes around and round. We have these. So those are the bath toys that he has. And whenever he get in the tub, the first thing I do, yeah. the first thing I do is give him a bath. Because whenever he's ready to get out, he's ready to get out. So right now I bathe him first and then I let him play. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So when these, when the letters, the letters and numbers, whenever they get wet, they stick to the side of the tub. So that gives us a chance. The reason I bought this um, set of bath toy, it gives us a chance to work on our ABC. It work, give us a chance to work on numbers, and it also gives us a chance to work on colors. So, um, because TJ is only one year old, and I don't want to pressure him too much. We only do A, B, C, literally, A, B, C. Every night we do A, B, C. So whenever he gets that, mm -hmm. then I'll move on. But right now we do A, B, C, literally. A, B, C. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. A, B, C. Say hi. Say hi. So guys, he's now down to, he doesn't drink formula anymore. He's drinking his eight ounce, but I had to trick him to get here. So um, if you're having problem with your baby transitioning from formula to the whole milk, what I did was we started from three, three ounces or two ounces, two ounces of whole milk. So I'll put two ounces of whole milk instead of water at each time and do that for two days after every two day i up the ounce and reduce the formula and now we are at eight ounces of whole milk no formula i still put i have some cereal so i still add cereal to it because i don't want it to go to waste so but no formula and you drink one bottle of whole milk in the morning and one bottle right before bed as he's doing right now and then he's gonna probably play a little bit until he burp or until eight o'clock and then i think he's probably go down before eight o'clock because he skipped his evening nap today so he's very 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 tired so he probably want to go to bed right as he's done eating or drinking
Okay, guys, so he just done drinking his milk. It looks like he wants to play, even though I know that he's super tired. So cute. What are you doing? All right, guys, so now we're going to put him to bed. He just made a big old yarn. Oh, and he's ready to go down. Oh. The only difference is inside here, normally, inside here would have been dark. But if it was to be, if I were to make it dark, you wouldn't be able to see. So, normally it, it would be dark. So, he would literally lie down and be ready for bed. But because the light is on, he's like, oh, it's not bedtime yet. So, I'm going to turn off the light and I'll leave him. So, we'll do good night kisses. And this is Ruffy. This is Ruffy. Ruffy is a little bit rough, so hence the name. Yes. Come, TJ. Kisses for Ruffy. Mwah. Kisses for Mama. Kisses for Mama. Mwah. All right. Good night. Good night, TJ. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> okay, guys, so that is it. That is it. That is our nighttime, bedtime routine from dinner to bed. That's what happened. As I say, six o'clock dinner, and then the bedtime routine starts from seven. So now, eight o'clock no later than eight o'clock sometimes he goes to bed a little bit earlier than eight but no later than eight o'clock he's in bed like he is now with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe for more contents like this motherhood contents motherhood and lifestyle to be exact and hit that bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video bye guys